Hey guys, today I bring you Weird and Rare. So this here is a vintage first alert smoke detector. And this is one of the most obscure first alert models that they ever made. Definitely not the most obscure, but one of them. Um, this is the SA-80FD, also known as SA-81D, also known as 83R. And I'll get into that in a minute. But this smoke detector, um, you may notice it looks a bit familiar. The design, it, it might, you know, you think I've seen that a while ago. And you're right. Um, this smoke detector is kind of like the, the love child of the SA-80FC and the SA-67D. Um, it's basically just a transitional model between the two. The SA-80FC, if you remember, I used to have one. And if you don't, I'll put a picture of the one I used to have right here. But, um, yeah, this is... It's got the design of the SA-80FC with the... I think it's like... How many rows of vents is that? I think it's like 12 or something. One, two, three, four. Nine rows. Okay, it might not be as many as the sa AFC, but it, the rows that go all the way to the center, and then the kind of like the four sections of vents with the open, closed, open, closed. Um, and yeah, but it's got the um, the rest of it is just the same design as the SA67D with the hinged cover, the um, 83R circuit board, all that. And I got this one off of eBay. I got it new in box. Here's the box. And it has the classic um, sort of like mid to late 80s box with the um, uh, the Pitway logo there. Professional smoke and fire detector with solid state horn. And you'll notice up there in the corner it says model SA81D. If I flip the unit over, which you actually just saw briefly, it says model number 83R. So, what's the model number? Well, this is where it gets complicated. This one is technically model SA-80FD. Um, SA-81D, I'm not sure what that is. Sometimes First Alert got their model numbers on their boxes wrong, or they, like, had different model numbers on... Like, the, um, the SA-67Ds that have two years, that, like, the special two-year batteries, those were, like, SA... Or no, it was SA90LTs with two-year batteries. They were SA90LT on the box, but the unit inside was labeled just SA90LT. Kind of like that, um, is the, that's what I'm guessing at least. But you'll notice something weird is going on here because the unit depicted on the box has the first or the second generation smaller cover. See that right there? However, in real life, it's got the first generation bigger cover with the thick ring here. So yeah, that's that's weird. So, um, 83R, first alert, slapping 83R in their units isn't uncommon. There's several SA67Ds. In fact, I have one right here. Actually, no, I don't. Never mind. <laughs> I thought I had one that was labeled 83R. I think I might have used to have one. Um, but yeah, first alert did that often. Um, so that isn't common. So this is technically SA80FD. However, they did make a model SA81FD, or it could have been SA81D, I'm not sure, but it had the white button. Kind of like how, you know, First Alert made the SA76RC, and then they had the SA67, which was that same exact unit, but with a white button, and the SA60, or the SA120 and the SA125, which had the white button. And the SA80FC itself actually had a white button counterpart, it was the SA81. So, yeah, First Alert did weird things back in the mid-80s, um, as you can see here, when they created this monstrosity. So, um, but I like it. I like the design of it. Um, now, I think I had a theory that this... Oh, just hit the camera. Sorry about that. I had a theory that this is actually a early prototypical design of the cover. When they were experimenting with both designs, when they had the SA-80FC design and the standard, like, 79R, SA76RC design. And they made a few of these for a short while just to see how they'd sell. And I'm assuming they didn't sell very well because you don't see these anywhere. At least I've never seen one in the wild. Um, in fact, before I got this one and before another one of my friends got one as well from the same seller, 
The only other one I've seen of these was the one that Nathaniel has in his SA80FC video from years ago. Um, so these clearly weren't popular. They weren't as popular as the SA76RC design, or the one that they ended up using up until the 90s. So um, they probably put these out as kind of like an experiment. And that's I'm that's not written in stone, that's just my theory, but you know, if somebody from who worked for First Alert, BRK, or Pitway comes up to me and goes, no, no, that's not what we did, you know, I'll, I'll change my beliefs. But that's what I believe they did. I'm not sure if that's true. Um, so let's open it up, take a look inside, and you'll notice it's very familiar. It's the standard 83R PCB, as I mentioned. Uh, the later style piezo electronic horn with the three small holes, the black plastic sensor. Now there's somebody who has an SA81 FD. Um, I think actually, yeah, somebody on the forums or something, somebody that I was in contact with had an SA81 FD and it had the false alarm, the metal false alarm sensor. So, um, yeah, weird. Now, uh, yeah, so I guess let's give it a test now. I got a battery in there. <laughs> So it sounds in the standard 4.6. It's a very, it's a rather fast 4.6. It's not all that loud. I don't know if that's the horn, an issue with the horn, but it's really not loud at all. Like, it sounds very muffled. So, let's take a look at uh, inside, or let's take a look at the box itself first. So there's the front, as you saw. This one was actually bought at a Kmart. And there's an ad on the back, or the side, for the 86, SA86REC. It's the older version of the SA86REC. And fire extinguishers. And then on the back, you know, this is the exact same as the regular SA67D boxes. There's the ad again, or, no, that's the same one. And then there's the limited warranty information and then the same on there so yeah um and i did get it with uh this battery was in the unit when i got it some um slightly newer ever ready i believe the silver model i don't know if i have one of these yet it's not all corroded either ever ready's i tend to see corrode really really easily for some reason but let's go inside here and see what we got so ooh. I didn't see this, actually. First Alert Home Security Products. We'll take a look at that in a minute. And then, yep, here's the manual. Um, so let's take a look at this. So as you can see, depicted on here is a bunch of those flashlights, fire extinguishers. I think that's that, or the timer switch. I don't see that center switch that they advertised. First Gen SA67D, there's a... What is that one? I can't remember the model number. The dual sensor ones that... SA-300 or something, I think, and the um, SA-150 LTD, or SA-130C or something, whatever the model number of those was, they had different ones. It's actually, is it like taped together? It's just stuck together. Well, it's just stuck together. Okay, so there's your timers, rechargeable lights, oh, ad with William Conrad. Can't have a first alert ad without William Conrad. So, SA67D, SA125C, that was that one. But I've seen those labeled SA130C as well, and um, SA150LTD. The light test model was just SA150LT. SA301, that was the model number of the dual system, or the, the dual sensor double system one. So, yeah, nice collection of 80s first alert, or m mid to late 80s first alert detectors. Timers, pretty cool. And then here's the manual. As you can see, this is it's just a standard 83R manual for SA767D, SA76RD, SA80FD, which is this one, and SA81D, which as I mentioned was the one with the white button. So it's also for escape light models. SA120C, 125C, 130C basically all the first gen large cover models so open it up 
it's going to be one of those kind of manuals that kind of just unfolds. Wait. Oh my god, okay. Um, so, it keeps folding back up. Let's try this. Is this the, is this the front of it? Okay, yeah, this is the front. This is the first side. That the... Okay, this thing's been folded up for so long, it keeps folding back on and back in on itself. So, if you want to read it, you can just pause. If I see anything noteworthy, I'll comment. I like how it has uh, diagrams for both the 83R and the 1201 with and without the escape light. I also like how it gives you uh, bulb replacement information for the escape light models. So they expect you to replace the light bulb. Unlike detectors of the day where they just expect you to just throw it out and get a whole new one. Of course they use LEDs these days mostly. Okay, so that's it for the manual. I've got another manual that's exactly like this, I think. came with my uh, SA67D, my second gen one, somewhere downstairs. I don't think I have any manuals for SA76RC or 79R units. But anyways... Okay, so that's, okay, that would ever go in, okay, so that's about it for this video of this really unusual detector. Uh, let's give it one more test. Alright, thank you for watching, and more to come.